Hello, I'm Sarah. I take care of more than 6,000 pots of gingers housed in the research nursery located inside Singapore Botanic Gardens. Some of the gingers here are part of the species recovery program to conserve, propagate and reintroduce them back to their natural environment. My colleagues and I often go on field trips to collect seeds or cuttings from rare plants found mostly in the Central Catchment Nature Reserve. We will then bring them back to our lab to propagate them through tissue culture. It takes about two years to mass produce plantlets for planting in the nursery. After we plant these plantlets in pots, they will remain in the nursery to grow and get acclimatized to the outdoor environment. We are now here in our nursery. You will see that our newly planted plantlets are placed in a shady area. They will gradually be reintroduced to a brighter spot after a few weeks. After a year or more in the nursery, we will pass the established plants to our colleagues in the Living Collection team, who will plant them at different parts of Singapore Botanic Gardens. This is the Singapore Ginger. It was described as new to science only in 2014. This species is endemic to Singapore and doesn't grow anywhere else in the world. We hope that after we propagate more of this small pretty ginger, it will eventually become a popular plant for healthy culture. Other critically endangered gingers which are under species recovery program are for example at Lingera Mangai. Loba Lucanta and Honstedt Yaconica. Most of the Singapore Botanic Garden's collections of native ginger species are planted at ginger garden or other parts of the gardens. This is to test their suitability for nature landscaping as well as to promote public awareness and appreciation for native plants. Next time, when you are here at Ginger Garden, be sure to look out for our native gingers. See you all again next time. Bye!